Frontitude's UX writing assistant is the AI writing assistant for product design teams. Using this tool, you can create UX content, guidelines, and streamline the entire UX content creation process. This saves a lot of review and editing time for the entire team. So let's see how we can use this tool. First, we'll open it from the plugins menu in Figma. Here you can see the rewrite tab open that allows me to select any text in Figma and generate content suggestions with AI. So let's select, for example, this text. You can see the text right here. And just before I click rewrite, the plugin allows you to customize the suggestions by tone, length, and other properties. So here we can select an informative tone. And using the length instruction, we can shorten or expand the text or set a hard limit. In this case, on the sentence count, add more context about the UI element. It's a subheader. Select the right case. And you can also add free text, chat GPT-like instructions. For example, here, you can ask to use plain language without And once we're ready, we can click rewrite. In a few seconds, we'll get the top five suggestions from our AI model. Then you can go over the results and pick the one that you like the most. In this case, I like this one the most. I can edit it in the plugin, like adding a period and apply to the design. Of course, I can continue editing it either here in the plugin or in Figma. Next, the writing assistant allows me to wrap those instructions into something that we call guidelines. Let's see how we can do that. Here you can select save as a guideline, give it a name, I always prefer using the forward slash convention. Here you can see the instructions that we set before. You can modify them. You can add more instructions. And you can also add examples to give the model more context. We can use this last text and click save. From now on, all those instructions are wrapped as a guideline and can be consumed in the rewrite function from here. I can switch to another guideline and basically load every guideline that I have on my team account. In this case, it acts something like presets or instructions, but guidelines have additional ways to be consumed. One of them is using the universal scope so let's say we want to define a universal guideline that should be applied on each and every text on our product. Let me switch to the style tab and open a guideline that I prepared in advance. Here we have some instructions related to the tone, glossary, and others that I would like to attach to the universal scope. Doing that is very easy by switching on the toggle. After saving it, I will get it on each and every rewrite in Sigma. So I'll get it here and there and there. That's great, but there is another feature of guidelines. Using the built-in design system integration, you can link guidelines to design system components. Let's see how it works. I will switch to the design system file. Here you can see a bunch of main components that compose our design system. And let me please focus on the modal component. 
Here I can just select the text from the main component, the title, for example, and look for the appropriate guideline to link it to. This is the one. And using the link button, I can attach the guideline to that component, meaning that on each and every instance of that modal component, this guideline will be loaded automatically in rewrite. We can switch back to the design file, look for a component like this, select the text, and from rewrite, you can see that both guidelines are loaded, the universal one and the component level one. And then generating suggestions is super quick, meaning that designers, writers, and everyone on the team can just click a button instead of going through lists, notes, or stock guides. Here, I really like this one. So I click it and that's it. I have it implemented. Now, what if I want to make sure that the content I created follow the guidelines just before I hand it off to developers, for example, or for a design review? Using guidelines allows me to audit the content very quickly. So here I can select a bunch of screens in this case, go to the audit tab and click run an audit scan. Now our AI model scans those texts in those frames, compares them with the guidelines and lists all the violations in a unified list. Here you can see that this text violated the guidelines. I can click the result and see exactly why. It appears that it failed because it uses an exclamation point. So we can change it to a period, for example. So we can fix all those violations and rescan just to make sure that nothing is violating the guidelines. And that's it. Guidelines are met, a lot of review and editing time is saved, and a smooth process is promised. So that's it for today. I hope you like it, and we're looking forward to your feedback. Bye-bye.